261 has a lot of traffic. It is uh, a bottleneck situation. Uh, it is part of a plan to uh, be adjusted. However, the priorities, I understand, uh, keep getting adjusted as well. I would propose getting with the uh, highway department and the uh, adjacent communities, Pelham and Helena, to coordinate efforts to try and move up the adjustment on that uh, roadway so that it gets a little more priority setting. I'm not exactly familiar with that particular road's uh, problems, but I know that we have a lot of problems in District 43, like on Highway 119 in particular, uh, where there's competing interests between the owners uh, who uh, bought lovely homes and want to protect their estates um, from heavy truck traffic. Highway 119 is also a highly congested road and um, they have to look at different solutions to maybe adding uh, the people who have the multiple schools on that road, having um, uh, access where they could quickly get their people off, perhaps without four line laning it. And so I think we need to look at creative strategic solutions, working with the state's budget and the department budgets in terms of particularly the Helena situation, which may be a matter of funding that needs to be expedited in order to complete the project. Uh, 261 is a highly congested area and has been uh, uh, proposed to be expanded for over 20 years that I know of as my parents lived on that road. Uh, in the last meeting that I had with uh, Gary Waters, he was uh, discussing that uh, expansion uh, where they met with ALDOT and uh, 52 was actually in, ahead of the project on the 261. I think it's going to take some pressure with Hoover, Pelham, and uh, the other uh, Helena area to actually get that road project moved ahead. I, I do agree that um, my office is very close to that area and I go to church very close to that area as well. That road is very congested. Uh, the first thing I would do would, get, would be to get with all the city leaders and the Department of Transportation just to see what feasibility studies have been done and the, uh, the outcome of those feasibility studies and see if there's something that we can't do that maybe is different, something that we haven't looked at, if there's funding we can get from another source, uh, if there might be some sort of toll provision that we might could put in to get people to where they need to be. From an area of Dallas that we had a toll road and we paid a nominal fee. The toll road has been paid for and it's managed to be up, kept up and it keeps traffic moving. I know that's a very, very small area um, to implement a toll road, but um, I think that it might be something that might be worth looking at. Having met with the uh, mayor in Pelham and in Helena and talked to them about it and a couple of the council people in Hoover, it appears that the situation is true that Highway 52 has uh, a priority at this point over 261. However, I believe to solve the problem, we're going to need to incorporate activities where we join together both the city of Hoover, city of Pelham, city of Helena, our Jefferson and Shelby County delegations to work on a solution that involves the process of handling the uh, funds that are available through the federal traffic uh, dollars that are coming back to the state, which is another issue of discussion, whether you think they should be sending those back or we should be keeping them to start with to more efficiently use them. But we're going to have to put together a strong coalition to fight for this in the legislature to make it a priority. As former Mayor Pelham, I've had many meetings about that same road, 261. Um, with John Cooper and Vern Davis. And I asked, Mr. Cooper asked me the first time we met, what are you doing here, Mayor? And I said, I'm trying to get it off the back burner and put it on the front burner. And he said, what are you talking about? And I said, Highway 261. Vern Davis in the Birmingham News a week before had said, we're going to put that on the back burner and we're going to go on from there. So we've got to get it off the back burner and get it on the front burner. And I don't buy this about 52. And I don't buy the toll roads. It's time that the city of Hoover, the legislators, Mayor, and the two mayors of Helena get together and put some pressure on and relieve the pressure on 261. Uh, I spoke with Mark Hall yesterday and um, agree that there isn't any money uh, for either project, which is disappointing. Um, the four lane uh, tenure project has also been put off. I think we need to look at public 
works with private money. I was reading an article in the Chicago Tribune yesterday uh, dealing with this very issue, and I think that's a very feasible way to try something new um, to unite the two communities. I'm also a proponent of toll roads. We lived in Tampa, Florida for a while and see the benefit of the Sun Pass. Um, but I think we have options. I do think it's an opportunity for people to come together. Um, those roads both need to be addressed, especially 261 and, well, 52. Um, but those are, those are my solutions.